Hello, baby coral. It's time for your story. Tonight's rendition is the Ten Commandments. And these are all the things that God wants you to do so that you can live a life of virtue. And it would make Nana and Papa very, very happy. So commandment number one, I am the Lord your God. There is only one God and he loves you more than you will ever know. Number two, you shall have no other gods before me. Stand together with your family and put God first in your lives. Number three, you shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. Now this is a big one to Nana because it's the easiest one not to break, but everybody does it all the time. Makes me crazy. She could say, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, oh my. Just don't say God unless you're talking to him. So uh, here, speak politely to everyone and don't use God's name as a bad word. <clears throat> That's got a teacher in it, so you'll have a teacher pretty soon. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy, which is Sundays. Uh, rest and be thankful for all you have and enjoy God's blessings at least one day a week. Oh, look at that. Have a little nap. That's nice, huh? Honor your father and your mother pretty much speaks for itself. Love, honor, and obey your mother and father and be kind to them because they only want the best for you. Look at that. Very nice. And you shall not murder. That's a big one. Don't hurt others with your words or actions. Be friendly and play nice with everyone. From the playground. That'd be nice when you can do that, too. You shall not commit adultery. You're way too young for me to talk to you about that. <clears throat> Don't do that. You shall not steal. Don't take things away from other kids and not tell anybody. Uh, you shall not bear, bear false witness. That's like if you tell a fib. Don't tell fibs, because God doesn't like that. See? And plus, this is like gossip, so don't gossip either. That's not a commandment, but that's just one that Nana doesn't do. I don't like to do. You shall not cover your neighbor's belongings, which means if your cousin, Austin, has a bucket or a ball or something, that you don't take it away from him and be envious that he has one. And that, believe it or not, was the last one. Nana loves you very much. You get some sleep and I'll see you here again tomorrow night. Love you, pumpkin, my little lammy. And Peppa loves you too. Peppa's